Where's the music? Hi friends, it's DOGD's Organic Production. This is my 100 day daily vlogging challenge. I've challenged myself to vlog for 100 days in an attempt to build my brand and my YouTube channel, JD's Organic Collections. This is one of my favorite places to eat. And it doesn't matter the location. Welcome back to day 54. I did not vlog yesterday. How do I feel about that? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up? Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, how do I feel about that? And um, I don't feel that great about it, to be honest. I kind of feel like I'm still emotionally out of control. And as a result, I'm letting it affect my production professionally. That is a huge no-no. No, 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 no. Yeah, so that's happening. I'm like dealing with the realization that I'm not happy with myself because um, I am not allowing myself to put my emotions in check so that I can maintain a level of professionalism that will continue to guide me to my ultimate goal, which is self-discipline and mastery of emotions because I feel like emotions are fleeting and they are not they're not solid concrete they are gravel comes loose real easy I'm driving so my metaphors are like related to what I'm looking at but yeah so it's cool in the sense that um, I'm becoming more aware of this and therefore I can do my best to manage this in a better way and in a more timely fashion according to what I'm wanting to do and let's not forget that the ultimate mastery really isn't in I can control myself as much as it's in I submit to the Lord in my weakness so that he can be glorified and show me strength and give me strength so let's let's like let's not confuse how i find myself getting stronger better whatever like for me personally whenever i say any of that it still begins with have i submitted to the lord have I repented? Where am I at with the Lord right now? Because I am quite 100% the kind of person that is not productive without Jesus. And so, as a result, I want to uh, always get right with him first because I find that that's when I am my happiest, I am my most productive, I am my most helpful, I am my kindest, like I'm everything that I want to be when I'm in tune with the Lord. And when I'm struggling with something and I'm trying to be like the queen of everything, Wonder Woman, I can handle myself, everybody else is, everybody else's imperfections are not going to get me down like so unrealistic I can forge through it all no matter what happens around me whatever dude come on so I'm really thankful for personal growth and re reflection revelation and speaking of revelation there's Bible study I'm supposed to be a part of that I've been like slacking on my reading so I gotta get together with that but we've already reached five minutes and so I'm headed home. I've been out running around. I was gonna work and then plans changed. Um, I did pick up a second job and I applied for a third, along with continuing to build this channel 
and my business but I you know I just feel very insecure about my business and I just have really no positive things to say about um, where I feel like it's at in the monetary sense so but you know I'm also just gonna leave that in the Lord's hands because if he wants me to sell something he's gonna bring me the customers all I need to do is be focused on how I'm helping other people so boom just gotta keep my focus correct and then we will have success the uh, rest of this day is gonna be spent working on the vlog updating editing and um, whatever else my little alerts tell me it's time to do <laughs> um, I haven't written anything this week so I probably should just spend a little bit of time writing and then go into editing especially since you guys I'm having such a hard time still with the memory on my computer and I brought external memory and everything so I'm just so exhausted and I don't have I don't I don't like to take advantage of people's kindness and I don't have um, the resources that I think I need to have to give to people for what they do for me and so I'm I feel like I don't have anybody that I can ask for help because I can't give them anything back and I know that's not really how it's supposed to be with a friendship but in this day and age honestly that's just kind of how people are they are your friend they love you they want to help help you and everything but at the same time they want stuff too and I mean like we all do right we all need stuff whatever so I'm just kind of like oh I don't know what to do I'm just so kind of overwhelmed a little bit but I'll work it out I always do it's what I do best work it out trust the Lord I mean obviously right if I take it to the Lord all the time it's gonna work out eventually so I just need to be patient trust the process and keep doing what I'm supposed to do I just bit my tongue so this video is over talk to you guys later bye can you be subconscious and intentional Yes, right? Because if you read something, they tell you to do positive affirmations and then it goes in the back of your head and then like you're, you intentionally are moving towards it, even though you don't realize it, but because you're doing these affirmations constantly, like it just brings you toward what you want. So yes, I believe that you can subconsciously be on purpose.